Hi, so welcome back to our show today. Today we have a very special two guests with us, and today is our two-part special for Christmas. So let me introduce our first special guest. Hi, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, friends. My name is Jun. Jun, and what do you like to get from Santa this year? Stickers and candy. Stickers and candy. That is so sweet and very simple too. And our second guest today, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Jokatban. I'm Den Lahom. And what do you want to get from Santa this year? I would like to get a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. <laughs> so today we will start with our first story. It is called "The Night Before Christmas," a poem by Clement Moore. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. The children would nestle all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast. Of the new fallen snow, gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch and the top to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash, dash away, away all. all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and Saint Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Saint Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle! His dimples, how merry! His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. 
He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down on a thristle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, that's it for our story for today. And we will continue on with our second part tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Let's say bye to our friends, and we'll see them tomorrow. Bye. bye.